In front of you, obviously, you see is a picture of Donald Trump. He was speaking at the uh, Liberty University, and all of the uh, candidates for president uh, over some point in time either have spoken there or going to speak there. In this particular segment, uh, Trump is talking about the military. Now, I, I, I got some real uh, uh, questions uh, regarding uh, the military. And all the Republicans, they all say the same thing other than Rand Paul. Now, in case you didn't know it, the U.S. Uh, budget, the overall budget is approximately $3.8 trillion. Out of that budget, uh, we have uh, discretionary spending. The discretionary spending is uh, approximately $1.1 trillion, or approximately a third. Out of that third, the uh, military uh, portion of that budget is approximately $600 billion, or so a little bit, little bit less than half of our discretionary spending is going towards the military budget. Now, $600 billion is a lot of money, but then if you relate it to the amount of money that other nations spend, we spend more on our military budget than the next eight nations uh, combined. But we're constantly told that our military is, is, is subpar and it's been uh, depreciated and uh, uh, we're out of step, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. How the hell can we be out of step if we're spending more than the next eight nations combined? That, you know, it, it, it drives me crazy every time they say that, you know, how our military is depreciated. Now, if, if they are, in fact, telling the truth and our military is depreciated, then somebody needs to go to jail because with all of that money being spent on the military, and, and that's not over a period of time, that's every single year, that's how much money we're spending on the, on the military, then uh, somebody is stealing a hell of a lot of money. Now, I know the, uh, the neocons or the military industrial complex, you know, they got their hooks into Congress and they never saw a weapon system that they didn't need. <coughs> Excuse me. But my, my question is this. One of the top two things that uh, the government is supposed to do is to protect the people, i.e. defense, and uh, to help the people, i.e. a safety net. If we need 600 and, I'm sorry, $598 billion to uh, protect the country, exactly what is that money going for? Because honestly, it doesn't take $600 billion every year to defend this country, i.e. from uh, attacks. But uh, if you want the military to be an offensive force, i.e. going over to the Middle East and uh, 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 supporting bases in all of these foreign countries, then that's, to me, that's not defense, that's offense. You know, it's not our job to defend, you know, the rest of the world. It's our job to defend our people and the rest of the world to defend themselves. Now, yeah, if they need a little help, and I do mean a little help, yeah, fine, no problem. But if we're the primary de defense for every uh, ally and every, you know, every other country in the world that we call an ally, then you know something's wrong there. And as a lot of people have indicated, you know, where are all these countries like Saudi Arabia and uh, uh, Yemen and uh, Qatar and Germany and all these other countries, where are they as far as their military uh, spending is concerned? And again, we're spending more than the next eight so they, get, they have to be well below us. Now I want to play this clip uh, that uh, Trump uh, gave at the Liberty University just for you to listen to him. But, you know, like I said, I have real problems with the amount of money that we're spending on our military and, and then to call it uh, uh, underperforming uh, and uh, antiquated, in my mind, is basically ridiculous. We need to build our military so big, so strong, so powerful that nobody, nobody is going to mess with us. We have to do it. 
You know, General Ordiano left recently, and he said our military is the least prepared that it's been in generations. The least prepared. We need it more now than we've ever needed it. And I'm in the real estate business. I'm always getting listings. I get listings of different things, bases, an army base, a naval base. They're all, everything's for sale. If it's military, it's for sale. And we can't have that. We're going to build it big. We're going to build it strong. We're, hopefully, we're never going to have to use it. You know, we're going to make it so strong nobody's going to want to mess. That's really what we have to do. And in the end, that's cheaper than this nonsense we're doing right now when nobody respects us. They're laughing at us. We don't know what we're doing. We can't beat ISIS. See, and that kills me. We're spending six, uh, 589 or $600 billion, and he's claiming that nobody respects us. Well, hell, then something is wrong with how we're spending our goddamn money because for that kind of money, and again, I keep repeating the same thing, we're spending more than the next eight uh, nations combined for us not to be respected. You know, I don't give a damn about respect. All I really worry about is, you know, are they spending the money wisely and can it do the job when it needs to? And that basically is a question that uh, nobody can seem to answer except to say that we need to spend more and more and more. The military budget is approximately 40% uh, of our overall uh, discretionary spending. And in my mind, that's like way too high. That money is better served uh, doing something as far as uh, our infrastructure uh, is concerned here, as far as educating our people here, and as far as taking care of our people here, especially uh, veterans. So um, I'm just going to let him uh, finish out and go from there. I see, I see it on television. These generals, they get up and they talk on television. They're being interviewed. I don't want generals to be interviewed. One of the generals just recently, well, what do you think of the ISIS threat? And, oh, they're very tough. They're very, well, can we beat them? Well, it's going to take a long time. I don't want that kind of a general. I want a general when we knock the hell out of him. Fast. 